All right, welcome to my fishing tackle shed. You can see it all right here. This is where I go shopping to grab baits that I think I'm gonna need on my next fishing trip. And lately I've been reaching for five baits in particular. And if you add them to your arsenal, I'm positive they will help you catch more fish this summer. The first is a Zoom Speed Craw. Now this is a tiny bait that packs a big punch, believe me. And this week it gave me some nice bycatch while I was fishing one of the locks that protects the city of New Orleans from flooding during hurricanes. Check this out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was on a rise. Ooh, there he is. Was oh, that a flounder? Yes, it is. It's a beast. Net him. All right. That's my deep. Thank you, man. Holy moly. Big flounder. That's a, that is a monster. He tattooed it. That's for sure. I, I haven't seen a flounder that big in a little bit. It also put me on track to beat my son Joel in a recent fishing competition. There's the drop. Oh. Oh, oh. There's a fish. <laughs> Dude, that's, a red. that's a red for sure. It's not a bad red either. Keep a red. Yeah, baby. There we go. Keep a red fish. We got to weigh him. He's skinny. He's definitely skinny, and you can see how white he is. That tells you without question that this water is dirty. But I'm glad to uh, have caught this fish on my speed craw. And next is a bait that is super hot right now. It's called a pop bar. Now, I actually fish a knockoff made by Academy, H2O Express TWP, Topwater Popper. But right now, the legitimate Rebel Pop Rs are on sale at sportsmansoutfitters.com for only $4.99. So I just picked up a bunch of those. They should be in the mail any day. Now, I can tell you, Speckled Trout would not leave this thing alone on a recent trip. Check it out. Mm. There he is. Oh, he got us an Olympian. He went airborne. Not even that big. But a keeper. Dude, you should be in the Olympics. Right on the ruler. 12 inches barely, but he's 12 inches. And the pop bar also sealed my win over Joel in that recent fishing competition. There he is. That's a red. That's a red. That's a red. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see him. That's a red fish. Oh, my pop bar. Hopefully, you got a face full of these hooks, dude. We got no net. No net. There he is, captured, captured on the pop bar. Whew, on a pop bar, most fun way to catch him top water. I think I'm well on my way to beating Joel in this challenge, but we'll see. Now the H&H &H number four gold spinner is an absolute staple for me. Of course, I teamed this thing with a quarter ounce death grip jig head and a shrimp creole matrix shad. That's my go-to. I very rarely fish a different tail on this bait just because I have so much confidence in this. And recently, I took a look at it in a pool and fell even more in love with it. Check this out. To be honest, I can't tell what exactly makes this setup so productive. I like that the blade is much closer to the bait. I like that the wire is less obvious. And of course that matrix shad has some incredible action. Maybe it's all those things combined that make it so effective. I don't know. I just know fish cannot resist this thing.
Now, everybody knows it catches redfish, like this one I found this week along the shoreline of Lake Bourne. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's why we came out here, Justine. Him on mono. On mono, yep. He's not that big. Keeper. Good size. Good size. Cut right off that little point right there. Mm -hmm. Glad I told you to hit the second one. I'm so grateful you came along. So grateful you got up, Justin. So grateful you have no net skills. But speckled trout also love this thing. Is that a trout? Speckled trout! Dude, I have caught the variety pack today. Flounder, redfish, bass, and now speckled trout. It's a keeper too. Now these things are available at most tackle shops, but they're also at hhlord.com. Now if you go there, search for freshwater jig spinners. Oh, and you definitely don't want to complain if redfish tear them up. They're not designed to catch redfish. Now I catch a ton of redfish on these baits because to me they just vibrate a whole lot better, but they will eventually destroy this wire. So be sure and bring some extras. Now another bait that has been delivering for me is the SB57 crankbait. You can see this one's all beat up. I love this bait, but I loved it even more after watching it in a swimming pool. Take a look. The SB57 dives deeper than the Echo, but it has many of the same characteristics. But of course, looking good in a pool and looking good to fish may not be the same thing. Fortunately, fish cannot leave it alone. And this bait delivered for me on another trip to one of those locks. I'm gonna give this SB57 a whirl. This is a really good bait for fishing rocks. It's a really good bait for fishing anything. <laughs> Caught a ton of bass and redfish on this bait. Ooh, nice. He smoked me. All right. These fish are all out of the same mold. Not bad marsh bass. Not bad at all. Now, next up is really kind of a combo that always produces for me this time of year and certainly has this year. First element is a TKO shrimp. Now, this thing doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, doesn't look all that fancy. It just catches fish. I think it has to do with the fall rate. This thing, when you see it in the water, just falls exactly like a shrimp. And speckled trout, in particular, cannot leave this thing alone. And I team that with a relatively new cork that's just come on the scene in the last few months. That's the Versamax knocker. This thing's really loud. And because of that, it shines when the fish are aggressive, which they are a lot of times in the summertime. Now, if you're fishing midday on a slick, hot day, you probably want to go with a quieter cork. But on the edges of daylight, when fish are being really aggressive, Man, it's hard to beat this thing. And of course, like all Versamax corks, you can adjust your leader length super easily, and I do that all the time, to try and explore where those fish are in the water column. You can't just assume they're at a certain depth. I generally start with my bait about a foot above the bottom, and then work up and down throughout the water column until I find where the fish are holding. That technique delivered well for me on a recent trip. There he is, there he is. Inshore keeper speckled trout in the month of July. You gotta love that. Gotta love that. I don't think he's a keeper, we're gonna check. Oh, my TKO under my Versamax bolt knocker. Oh man, he took it deep. Now of course we all love to have different things in our tackle box, and certainly you should bring more baits than these, but if you only went with these five baits, you could absolutely find fish somewhere that are feeding on at least one of these five. They've just been really hot this summer and I see no sign of that slowing down. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, 
or here in my tackle shed. We'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.